Yeah, I was like in tears. I was pretty freaked out actually. I had a lot of back pain, right? Yeah. And so I went to the hospital, and this one on Monday, like it's just on Monday. And um, so, and I have a doctor's note, right, that I can't wear a mask. Right. Okay. So when I went to emergency, the lady at a um, like at the emergency, the registration, she was okay. But she gave me it, and then I went to the triage desk. And then the lady was like, oh, you're going to have to wear a mask. I said, well, here's my doctor's note. She goes, you're refusing to wear a mask. I said, no, but here's my doctor's note. I've got medical problems. I said, I can't wear a mask. She goes, well, I'll just put down here. You're refusing. And she goes, she goes, then I'm going to have to stick you in with, um, with uh, other people that have tested positive for COVID-19. Wow. And I went, what? You're trying to kill me? She goes, well, we have to look at you as being positive. I said, excuse me? She goes, yeah, because you're refusing to wear a mask. I said, I can't. I've got medical problems. And I said, I've showed you my doctor's home. And, you know, and then I just kind of broke down in tears. And I, and then I just kind of went, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just go home and, uh, commit suicide and it'll be on you guys. And um, anyways, and then they must have phoned the police because the police came to my house and took me back there and I told the police what happened. And the police said, well, you know, that's not right. And, and well, and just before that, my family doctor had called me and my family doctor said, that's insane that they would even say that to you. To you. Huh. And um, so then, anyways, when the police took me back there, they were really nice while well, the police were there, you know, and they, um, and I didn't have to wear a mask, and the police had my, um, my note that says about the mask, and they showed them it, and they were really good about it while the police were there. So... Anyways, after the police left, they were mean again. They tried to tell me I needed a mask. And they said, well, I had to wait for the doctor. I had to put a mask on. And then they said, uh, before you go to um, the CT scan, you have to wear a mask. And they kept trying to put this mask on my throat, basically. And they said, you got to wear a mask. you got to wear a mask. I said, look, I can't. Well, you need to when you're in the hospital. I, I said, excuse me, I have a doctor's note. There's reasons why I can't wear it. And um, so they were kind of like just pushing it on me and just being mean. So anyways, then the doctor came in and and said, well, we'll, be, we'll do the CAT scan the next morning. So then they took me there and they tried to push the mask. I just threw it under the uh, blanket. Then I had the CAT scan done. And I had the blood work done. And they said I had a, a bladder infection. So the doctor said, well, you can get dressed and, you know, come up to the desk and get your prescription. So I did that. And then that nurse that was there, she goes, she goes, she got she goes, put her damn mask on Tommy. And I went, can I just get my prescription, please? She goes, I said, put a damn mask on. I'm calling security to throw you out. And I said, can I just please get my prescription? And she goes, she goes, I said, put a damn mask on. You can't leave the hospital with a mask. I'm calling security right now and throw you out. I said, fine, I'll just go somewhere else and get a prescription. And she basically... There was a prescription at me, and she goes, just get the hell out of the hospital and don't come back. I said, can I get that on recording? She goes, no, I said, just get the hell out of the hospital. Wow. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Remind me again, which hospital was this? The General Hospital. It was right at the General. Um, yes. Now, you got an exemption. Tell me the reason. 
because I have COPD, really bad, and asthma. And I've had asthma attacks with the mask. It affects my breathing. Yeah, you're at a bad start there before the mask at all, and you'd think those people would understand that. And the one time they asked me about the shield, and the thing is, like, I talked to my doctor about this already, but I have to wait because of everything that's going on. And he's going to exempt me from the shield, too. Because when I was a child, and in the government's care, I took a lot of abuse. Mm -hmm. And so anything near my face, it really, like, traumatizes me. And my doctor knows that. Yeah, I mean, did someone put a hand over your mouth in those days, or? Yeah. 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 And I took, like, uh, beatings, like, in the face and stuff, right? You know, punched and everything, right? So anything near my face now, it bothers me, it scares me. I'm like, ah. Wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have really bad anxiety, right? Now, if I've heard you right, then... They brought you in for the test. You stayed overnight and then had the yeah. test the next morning, like Tuesday morning? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you made a complaint to the authorities on this? Well, I didn't know where they called, so I called that 811 helpline. And she gave me uh, another place, right? Like a uh, patient's advocate. Mm -hmm. And she goes, well, I'll just tell, I'll just, um, tell the manager to speak to them. And I think the manager was there that night, and they were all, like, my, my friend from church, right? Mm -hmm. Penny was trying to talk to me and help me out, and they were so rude to me, and Penny was on the phone. And they were all sitting there laughing. And I'm pretty sure that manager was there, too, because she goes, I'll get my manager. And there was, like, four or five of them all standing there laughing. What do you think and they thought was so funny? Well, because they went and talked to Penny, and she goes, I'm dealing with Penny, but they were so mean to me and rude, and Penny could hear her over the phone. So Penny was just trying to help me out. And Penny's like, excuse me, excuse me. And she was so mean to me and rude to me at that nurse, at triage. And also, when the police took me back, right, they, you know what that uh, triage nurse put there? That I refused to wear a mask. Yeah, that's, that's what her, Yeah, that's what she wrote down. She never wrote down that I had a doctor's note with me or anything. So you called eight one one and made a complaint. And yeah. uh, where did they say that was going to go? Uh, they didn't say. They, she just gave me um, a patient's advocate number, and that's and I phoned there, and she literally didn't say right. Well, and she just she just told me that she would talk to the manager that was on that night for that floor. <laughs> she didn't really say anything. You know, I was pretty shocked about the whole thing. I've never been treated that way. I've never even heard of it. It's called health care, not health abuse. Like, I worry. I really worry about other people. that don't speak up or anything. And both are abused. And that shut down, you know, after what I went through. That's what I worry about. It really scare me, you know, that they would do that. 